Hey guys, JJ Inc. 24 here with a test of this panel. And it's not an MS5 UD or an MS10 UD or anything like that. It's actually a Firelight MS9050 UD. And it's an addressable control panel. Um, so it looks pretty much the same as the MS5 UD 10 UD. Has the same interface too, and like programming uh, menus. And I mean, obviously they're different because it's addressable. But it's the same overall idea. Uh, so I have a couple devices hooked up, and I'll show those devices and then do a test. So first of all, these troubles, I have a ground fault on this. Uh, not because I don't have it grounded, which I do, but because, unfortunately, NAC2 on this panel is broken. Um, then no battery. Obviously, don't have batteries hooked up. And NAC2 disabled, because uh, I just went ahead and disabled it as well. So, we have those three problems, and that's it, so that's pretty good. Moving on to the devices, here's a Firelight BG12LX. You can see the blinking light right there, indicating that it's communicating with the panel. And then, along with that, on the same loop actually, we have this uh, Firelight heat detector, and I forget the specific model number of it. Um, but you can see the LEDs on this flashing. So there's that. And then for an alarm, I have this white Wheelock Exceeder hooked up. Um, and then it's set to code 3. And two wire silence um, is enabled on this. So I think I'll go ahead and pull the BG12LX now. And here we go. Alright, and the reason why it takes a little while for it to um, silence after I hit the button is because of the sync feature. So if there were multiple devices hooked up, then they'd all still be in sync when they were silenced. Um, so as we can see, LED is uh, solid right now. And if we look on the display, it, uh, it tells us there's a BG12LX pole that activated the system. And that's just the name I put in there for it. Uh, just the model number. So go ahead and reset this now. Oops. All right. So go ahead, reset the panel. Strobe stop flashing. We'll just go ahead and watch that LED right there. Acknowledge the troubles. And there we go, it's back to normal. So we'll move on to the heat detector. And all we need to do to test this is hold a magnet up to that circle right there. So I've got this magnet right here. Should do the trick. Yeah, and just like the rest of HP's products, it doesn't work so well. I'll give that a sec. As we can see, uh, the lights on this detector are on, indicating that it was activated. Strobe is still going, so we'll go ahead and reset the panel now. And acknowledge. And then, let's see, yeah, so that's all I have hooked up to it, is the exceeder in those two devices. Um, so this is pretty cool because this is actually the first time I've uh, messed around with an addressable panel. Um, shout out to Andrew, aka New Age Server Alarm, for helping me get some of this stuff set up. Um, so before I end the video, I'll just do a quick drill and then call it good. So here we go.
All right, and if you noticed, when you do the drill, it only pops up as a treble, not as a fire alarm, because that way, if this panel was actually hooked up to monitoring, then, you know, the fire department wouldn't get called uh, from just using the drill button. So that's a pretty good feature, I think. Reset. And wait for the treble to pop up. And obviously the time and date are wrong on this. Uh, but there it is. MS9050UD addressable panel. So thanks for watching.